Okay, so today I'm going to be taking you through my full body foam rolling routine. Foam rolling is a great way to restore postural balance in your system. It helps turn off the really tight muscles. But it's only going to work to turn off those tight muscles if you're doing it correctly. You have to make sure you're taking it slow and pausing every time you find a really tight, tender spot. This is how you're really gonna reap the benefits of foam rolling. Oftentimes I see people in the gym just flopping back and forth on these things like walruses. They're parked cars into punching bags. And that's not gonna do anything. You gotta take it slow, relax, breathe, pause. And that's gonna really help reduce the tension in those tight muscles. So follow along and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, I like to start out my routine by just grabbing a seat on the foam roller and rolling out my glute muscles, just getting them warmed up. And then I'll take one leg and cross it over the other and go on that same side that's crossed over. And then I switch it over, keep that same leg crossed, but go on the other hip. And as you can see, I'm pausing right here. And then once again, I'm crossing a leg over and going on that same side, which gets more of the outer hip. And when I go on the opposite side to the crossed over leg, it gets more of the piriformis. And then I flip it over and I'm working on the quadriceps. So that's the muscles on the front of your thigh. I'll pause. I like to play around with rotating the hip, bending the knee, straightening the knee. This muscle is tight on basically like 90% of clients I see. Uh, the rectus femoris gets very tight from living a sedentary life, from sitting down most of the day. So really take your time on that one. Then I move on to the adductors. The adductors are the inner thigh muscles. So once again, we're going from joint to joint, but never crossing the joint and pausing on tight spots. And as you can see, I like to play around with joint movements while I'm on the tight spots. This really helps me release the muscle better. So I'll, paw, I'll find a tight spot, pause, and I'll bend and straighten my knee. I'll rotate my hips, do a few circles. That really helps me loosen up those muscles. And the adductors, those inner thigh muscles, also get very tight from sitting down. And then I move on to the upper body. Yeah, for the upper body, you might want to tuck in your shirt or do it shirtless, because sometimes your shirt will kind of get caught on the roller, and that's really annoying. But I start out by just rolling out my upper back. Stay off the lower back and stay off the neck. Just go through the upper back. And then I flip onto my side and I'm getting my lats. This is another very important muscle that gets locked up from sitting down. And the lats affect your whole body posture. They affect the shoulder joint and they also affect the lower back and the hips. So get these, pause play with that arm movement, play with rotating side to side. Yeah, you're gonna find a big kind of lumpy knot right below the armpits, maybe a few inches below the armpits. You're gonna feel a big knotted up hunk of tissue in there if you have tight lats. And then I flip it over and roll out my chest. So my hands are kind of just up in front of the roller, relaxed, going all the way from my collarbone down to the bottom. And then finally, I'll go back to my mid-back, but this time I'm doing some hinges over the foam roller. I'm hinging, trying to open up those thoracic vertebrae, hinging back and forth, as you can see. Thank you guys for watching my routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Post any questions you have down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you want to see more content, go check out my Instagram. I'm a lot more active on my Instagram page at Justin Arani Training for quick, short, one-minute videos that should be very helpful to you guys. Okay, until next time, take care, take it easy, stay strong.